In times of need, help can come from anywhere, even your local eatery. 7th Avenue Group runs three Tauranga restaurants, Brooklyn Patio on the Strand, Neighbourhood Kitchen in Cherrywood and Rain Bar in Papamore. And it's just launched Pay It Forward, offering restaurant quality meals to those in need. When we create our online platform, so for all our takeaways and the fact that people can order through us from us online, we thought, hey, let's just come up with an initiative where it gives customers the opportunity to pay their bill forward um, to someone else that might need it. We can actually provide quality food to those who, who couldn't otherwise have it. I think it's awesome what charities do and how they, there's food bank, banks available and I think they do an incredible job. But I think it's so cool that a, a restaurant can actually get meals from their menu and then actually go and give it to people who couldn't actually have that. Paying it forward is as easy as adding a side of fries to your order. They can simply just order their meal. Um, at the checkout, they can just select the pay it forward option. So we've got it set up as a product on the system and they can donate from as little as $10 to as much as $200. We then run a report in terms of how much money has been donated to pay it forward. And then 100% of that money is then used to provide meals for, for those that obviously need it. A local charity has come on board to make sure the meals reach the right people. We don't want people just coming to us and asking for free food and things like that. So we've partnered with Curate Cares, which is a charity. They've got a database of people that they're regularly in contact with who they're also um, already supporting on an ongoing basis. People have actually seen our social media, they've seen what we're doing and, they've, and donations have already just started coming in. So early days at this stage, but something that we see has a lot of opportunity in terms of going forward and something that we'll continue to do as a business. Across town in Parkvale, the Tauranga Community Food Bank has had to step things up to meet the unprecedented demand since lockdown. We've seen an increase all year in demand, and, and that was mainly due to housing. Um, but as soon as COVID hit, um, we've seen a demand a change for different reasons. So housing's still a big, a big reason. Um, but we've got a lot of international people who are stuck in New Zealand and with our seasonal workers around here, so we're supporting them. Um, we've stepped in to help a lot of elderly people who were stuck at home, didn't have any way of accessing food, so we've taken on responsibility for them, although we've seen that drop off lately. We're seeing a lot of people who are running out of income or have lost their jobs. Um, so we've seen in April a 53% increase from the same time last year. And Auckland charity Five Plus A Day is now reaching into the regions to help out. I actually knew nationally that Five Plus A Day were looking at supporting people with, in the communities with fruit and vegetables. I actually wasn't aware it was going to hit home here. So that was a really nice surprise last week. So we got 40 boxes of beautiful fresh fruit and vegetables delivered here, all packaged for us so we didn't have to touch anything. And we were able to give, most of them actually went out the door the next day. And for some, that means fresh fruit and veg are back on the menu. We haven't been able to collect the same fruit and vegetables during lockdown. Um, some of our food has traditionally been rescued food through supermarkets. So we haven't had access to all the fruit and vegetables we normally do. So we have accepted from local suppliers direct, but this was just an absolute windfall. The fruit and vegetables that we give are really the icing on the cake. We know a food parcel can provide meals but having the fruit and vegetables makes all our food go further and the appreciation from people receiving it, you really feel it. The food bank is staffed entirely by volunteers, working around the clock to make sure the donations get distributed. I'm at university up in Auckland um, in Tauranga's home with my family um, and mum actually volunteers here every Tuesday. Um, obviously once university got put online, made the decision to come home to save a little bit of money and be with family during this time and um, just picked up, you know, mum said they need a little bit of help here and thought, you know, it was a good way to spend my time instead of just lounging about at home basically. Gavin Ogden, Local Focus.